We are fortunate enough to have a wide variety of uh, very attractive butterflies that visit Oklahoma. Um, and many of these butterflies, of course, we, we enjoy the, the beauty of the adults, uh, but we don't always appreciate the, uh, the damage that's caused by the caterpillars, their, their larvae. Um, one such beast that we watch for in our gardens that can cause us problems um, are the larvae of swallowtails. And they come in a wide variety of different uh, colors and, and shapes and sizes. Uh, sometimes they're oftentimes confused with the larvae of monarch butterflies. Uh, and the distinguishing feature um, you can tell is um, not only by the coloration and uh, and, and how they look, but also the type of food plant that, uh, that they're associated with. The larvae of monarch caterpillars uh, will feed exclusively on milkweed plants. Uh, the uh, larvae of swallowtails will feed on a, a wider variety of plants, um, including some of our favorite herb plants. Uh, things such as fennel and dill um, are quite commonly attacked by the larvae of swallowtails. And Again, we're, we're oftentimes uh, more interested in, in, in attracting the adults, but we don't want those larvae. But um, um, unfortunately, we have to kind of tolerate some of the damage caused by the larvae if we want to have those adults around in the landscape. So uh, one thing we can do is to allocate and separate out, and we have to be willing to sacrifice a small segment of our garden, um, uh, including plants like fennel and dill. Uh, for the purpose of rearing those larvae. Again, that's going to be more attractive to the adults having a place to lay their eggs. Uh, and then reserving our control measures for the section of the garden uh, for the plants, uh, the, the crops that we want to uh, use um, on our dinner table. Uh, so butterfly gardening can be a very enjoyable uh, endeavor uh, to uh, uh, participate with our families and, and beautify our landscapes. Uh, but we have to keep in mind that the larvae of those butterflies do need to eat and so we have to provide um, a, a portion of our, of our desirable plants as larval food sources for those butterflies. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.